Okay, Fikes, this will be a challenging one, but it's an interesting one, and it, it's probably worth a bit, and I found it somewhere. It's not going to fit my wrist very well, I don't think. I think my wrists are way too big. This is something for a small person, or a child, perhaps. It's going to be a difficult one. Yeah, the, the holidays are nearly over and tomorrow I'll be back at work uh, doing boring work, but I have to do it to keep this going to try and get on the 6 o'clock news on Channel 9, which is proving more difficult than I thought uh, very much. Anyway, let's see what this item is. It is it's a bangle. Or some kind of bangle and it's got the uh I'm just trying to see it it's just in there that those little areas there I can't get this damn thing to fucking focus it's not focusing folks well forget it we're not going to bother and this is it silver sterling silver so yeah with what appears to be shell so I'm just going to roll it across their hand. I don't know how that's going to turn out. It's a bit hit and miss. And we've got something out of it. We've rolled it successfully, but there doesn't seem to be much to it. It looks very, very very minimalist. I'm very disappointed with how that's come out, even though I did it nicely. I did a good roll and a bit of an interesting pattern there. Uh, I do think we can make this into a movement piece again. But basically, yeah, this really is interesting, but it doesn't come up too interesting on the photocopier, folks. Not that I was, hope I was hoping it would be more there would be more to it, folks. Uh, I was hoping there was more to it, but there isn't as much as I'd like there to be. So I'm going to make this into something a bit more interesting. problems require creative solutions folks you could say and that's come up looking a little bit better I like that archy shape that that's got uh, I do think that's quite interesting intriguing and perhaps I'm gonna use it folks still a bit minimalist folks but a lot of people do like minimalist art there is a demand for it, folks. There is a real demand for it. You know, people do enjoy the minimalist way of art. Not, not everything has to be um, complicated. Everything's, you know, we need more variety in this world, folks. We need variety. I do think we're going to cut it down there. So we do need need plenty of variety. We don't want everyone to be uh, cookie cutter versions of each other. Even though I know my father is one of those types of people who favours the cookie cutter way of living. He knows he's always interested in things that are conservative and normal and classical, like his love of. Um, orchestral music which is no problem there you know this it's really nice music it's got its own thing but basically dad's really obsessed with normalcy with being conservative in a stuffy sense like he doesn't like he doesn't believe that my photocopier art has a future he hates it he really hates it even when I was young and I was starting out 
he never gave me any encouragement with it. He never appreciated it whatsoever. He just treated it like it was, like it was shit. And he just treated me like I was fucking shit. He's an asshole, a bully and a teaser, a nasty person indeed. Not a nice person, my father. So you got to fucking... I do wonder how I'm going to make this look. So yeah, you just... Some people are just so mean-spirited like that. They just don't understand anything and they just want everything to be fucking cookie cutter. Dad tries to sing. He, he can't fucking sing. He, just because he, you know, he, he likes to self-improve on himself. He likes to self-flagellate by singing. And he can't fucking sing for buggery. Go to enlarge that further. He just can't sing, folks, and yet he thinks that by self-flagellating as a singer, I call it self-flagellation because he's not designed to sing, and yet he's, he's living as if he has to sing, like it's his fucking gift. But it's as, about as much gift as a fart as a fart coming out of an asshole. I'm sorry, in an elevator. A uh, fart in an elevator, that's about as gifted he, as his fucking singing is. He can't, you can tell he can't sing because when he practices, you don't hear any discernible improvement. On the sound of, on his on the quality of his singing, that looks good. I won't reverse the colours. So he really he really has a lot to answer for, and he hates my photocopier art. He he called it foolishness when I announced it to him back when I was a thirteen year old, and also he um, one day I went to the library, and this is fuck his system's no good. I went to the library one day. And he, um, and when we got home, he, he basically demanded that I hand over the photocopies. He made it sound like he was a policeman ordering a criminal to, to um, hand over a gun or comp contraband. And it was, he made it sound like a crime. And he ended up tearing them up. And fortunately, he didn't tear up anything of major value because I'd started doing some real what I would call masterpieces and if he tore them up that would have been disaster and he was an asshole and I don't like my dad I give him the middle finger yeah I'm talking to you Graham Victor Huddy asshole extraordinaire stop your stupid singing and your self flagellation and stop and leave let me be an artist let me be me and the thing is folks I'm not going to let him destroy my my future because he may not like what I'm doing on the photocopier. He might think it's foolishness and stupidity. But I'm going to go and become a TV star at his, at his expense. He's going to fucking regret what he ever did. He'll regret it, folks. He'll live to fucking regret it. He won't. He won't get away with it. He won't get off scot-free, folks. I won't let him. I'm trying to get on the six o'clock news, so I'm really confident that I can, I can pull it off. You know, I'm talented. I've got the gift. You know, it's a gift, folks. Not a fucking. Most people agree with me. It's just my dad's one of my worst fucking critics. He's one of my worst bloody critics you can have. You know, that's come looking quite nice. I don't know if I like the yellow. Uh, I do think maybe another colour could be better. I don't know, folks. But yeah, my dad's just a total dickwad. He's just a fucking idiot. And he thinks he can fucking sing. Or he thinks it's good to to strengthen your weak parts of, your, of who you are. You know, to be self-improvement. That's a load of shit. I hate self-improvement like that. He's just a dickhead. He's, it's like he's envious of what I've got. He's envious. There's something there that that must be happening that Dad is so envious that I know what I want to do and, and that I want to do it. Although I did do some stupid things when I was young and I didn't sell my art when it was popular and basically, that looks shit else compared, I don't know which one I like. But basically my dad just never took it seriously enough, my photocopier art, and he still doesn't. And he, 
I, until I prove to him I'm wrong, he's wrong. The only way I can prove to him that he's wrong is that if I go on the six o'clock news, because I know my dad uh, watches watches the news quite fervently. Um, he's a newsy sort of a guy. He, he he's a bit of a shallow fuck uh, who likes to watch television and watch the news and he takes it very seriously even though he's told me in the past not to be sensationalist because I used to watch I think shows on like like a current affair for example on channel 9 I used to watch them and he told me not to take that seriously but basically he takes he watches the news he watches all that sensationalist trollop he does. He watches it. He loves it. He must do. He doesn't want to admit it, but he does. He watches that trollop. He does. He watches all that trollop. So if he watches that trollop, you know, and I, I do see it as trollop. It's rubbish. You know, death, disease, disaster, destruction, house fires, car crashes, drug busts, shark attacks, especially shark attack. Don't mention that one to me. That makes me see bloody red. Because I don't like the, uh, it's very cliche. It's, shark attacks are one of the most popular types of news headline. Extremely popular, but they still seem to draw an audience. I don't know how, uh, but basically I really hate when they show a shark attack. It just drives me nuts. I'm trying to get my work up there, but I'm not going to give up, folks, because I've got to prove my dad wrong. I've got to make him eat his own words. I've got to make him. I've got to make him and my brother, because my brother also is, is on me against photocopier art, and he wants. He tells me what to do. He thinks he knows best. Both my dad and my brother are what I call Mr. Rights. They always think they're right, all the time. Right. It's their fucking word against yours. Not anymore, folks. Stephen Graham Huddy, you're an asshole. And I am not going to listen to you anymore. I'm not going to talk to you. I'm not going to do anything. And you're an asshole, Dad. Go fuck yourselves and you sing Australia. Go take your assholery and stick it up your butts. I'm going on Channel 9 and I'm going to prove you both wrong. And you're going to both have to apologise to me on Channel 9 on the 6 o'clock news, bitches. Or else I won't talk to you. I won't give you the time of day. There won't be any more correspondence. I'm going to stay quiet until you fucking do something and you're only going to hear me on the television folks so yeah you guys have treated my my work as tr trash i know i didn't sell myself properly when i was young and it looks like it was trash but it was just mistakes i made mistakes folks i'm not right all the time just like my brother and my dad are or who think they are but they're gonna fucking pay the price and dad's got heart problems suck shit brother's got diabetes type 2 suck shit i don't care i hope they fucking suffer from their health ailments so let's see how we go with this interesting uh bracelet piece but yeah i'm not going to I'm not going to give in. I'm going to keep doing these videos until I go to air. And that's it, Channel 9. You're going to be airing my stuff or I'll keep making it. And that's come up looking really quite a treat. I think we can now call this demo quits. <laughs>